Oh, hi there. Welcome to Kerry Shaves. Nice to see you and it's nice to be back here shaving again. Uh, how's things with you? It's weekend, it's Saturday as I film this. Uh, I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're enjoying life, living life. I hope it's not too hot where you are because I know there has been some record temperatures in Europe, um, Italy and Spain and Greece have been having some crazy, crazy temperatures. So I hope everyone is staying cool and staying safe. Right, let me show you what we're using in today's shave. Uh, carrying on the theme for this month, I think it was a viewer, I can't remember who it was, suggested that I, I should use UK soaps for the month of August. Great idea, so I said I'll do it. Um, I've only used one so far, so this is the second shave for August. Uh, here's the soap. This is Dead Sea Shave and Maelstrom. They are based in London. Uh, the scent on this is spearmint and lavender. Um, I'll show you a, a screen grab of the description of the soap and the ingredients. So that's all the information you need. Yeah, it has a Dead Sea mud in it, if you can see it right at the bottom there. Yeah, so it's um, quite a firm soap. It's spearmint, lavender and menthol. Uh, that's all it is. Um, I've used this soap for the last three shaves. <laughs> Every time I've said, right, I'm going to film a shave and then I've just kind of, things have came caught up on me. Uh, I had things to do. I was, last weekend, I was in a rush. I was going to film a shave on a Sunday and we were planning on going out and I, can you see that there? I nicked myself because um, I was really going too quick with the razor and stuff and bah, there you go but I've used this soap for the last three shaves so this is the fourth shave using this soap but I am filming it so that's good um, yeah so that's that's what I'm going to be using uh, the razor uh, as I said in my last video when I kind of did a short unboxing and overview of the razor is going to be the Parker uh, adjustable injector razor here it is here yeah, very uh, retro looking. This is the version 2. Uh, this is sold by Super Safety Razors in the States. Uh, Nancy and Howie uh, sent this through. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate that. Uh, the, the very kind gesture. Let me try it out. Yeah, so settings 1 to 5. I'm going to start with setting 5. There's a blade loaded in there. These are the blades. This is the uh, injector style blades. Some people will know about these. Uh, it comes with this. The blades are loaded in here uh, in the top there you can see that's the blades there you push this along and it pushes the blade out you push this key in here uh, but if you go back to the previous video um, you'll see how it all works but there is there yeah so I'm going to be trying that out today uh, yeah as you see this is the adjust adjustment dial here one to five it's just a smooth it's no clicks so uh, and as you move it this bar at the front goes uh, back and forward like that. So I'll have it on five and there's the, the blade gap. Is that sitting straight? Yeah. Right, that's what we're going to use. Dead Sea Shave Maelstrom. Uh, Maelstrom means a powerful whirlpool in a sea or river. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, it wasn't very powerful, was it? I wasn't like a whirlpool. I should have been like that. Anyway, <laughs> the brush I'm going to be using. Oh, I meant to say the blades are Parker's own blades. So they're um, Parker's own blades. You can get different other blades. Um, but I'm going to be using the ones supplied. Yeah, 20 blades you get with that. Right, here's the brush. This is the Yaki Sagrada Familia. A little stubby brush. Uh, the reason I'm using this is Yaki have just um, released some uh, razor stands. So here's the brush and here's the razor stand. Look at that, isn't that cool? That matches that. Does it, Kevy? Yeah. Yeah, look, it's the uh, same colours, same yellow and black swirls at the top, kind of amber at the bottom. Very nice, but here's the razor here. Just let me put it down there like that. So. You can put the razor in it like that, kind of just stand it up, or you can have it lying down 
like so. Or turn it around that way. Yeah, nice. Right, um, here's the razor, brush, soap. So let's get going. How's your shades going? Anyone new to the channel? Hello. Yeah, it's good to see some uh, some of the other UK wet shavers doing the UK Artisan Month. It's not strictly speaking an artisan. It's just UK soaps. But um, yeah, as I said, someone one of my um, viewers suggested it, so I thought that's a good idea. Why not? Why not? Why not? It's a good idea. Why not? Right. Let's wet this brush. Right, I'm going to leave quite a bit of water in it. I just go into the soap. Like that. Yes, yeah, so the water's pouring out of the soap. But that's okay, we'll just keep loading it till we get a good lather. Yeah, spearmint lavender menthol. I think I've used this on video maybe once, maybe twice. Three times a lady, and I love you. That was uh, the Commodores. <laughs> Not the Commodores, you probably guys know. Um, the ones inside my head. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I had a look on the, they have a Dead Sea Shave, have an Etsy page. But um, when I looked, it doesn't seem to be very active. I don't know whether the guy's taking a break. I've sent him an email, but I haven't heard back. So I don't know if they're taking a break or if they've stopped making the soaps, but they really are good soaps. The little UK artists and they were only on the scene for a little short while. Right, I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, it's a good soap. You get mostly um, spearmint from it, a little bit of lavender, but Just uh, clean this up. There we go. Set that there. Yeah, I can feel how slick it is on my fingers. Right, let's go with this. Yeah, so as I say, for the last three shades, I've planned on filming them using this soap. <laughs> so everything's been set out and um, and then things have got in the way or I've had like a, I had a couple of voiceover things come in that had to be done so I had to do them and by the time I got around to it it was kind of evening and I, I thought ah oh, can't be bothered setting up the lights I was tired from work and you know how it is right yeah but we're here now Saturday so we've got some time Right, more water in the brush. Yeah, that um, nick that I got down there, I think it was a, it was a blade that was a fourth use on a, I think it was a, might have been a feather. I just thought I should have, I usually only use a blade for three times and then it goes in the blade bank. But um, four times and I was in a hurry and I was really like whoosh, throwing the razor about my face because I was trying to get done quickly because we were getting ready to go out and uh, it happens. If that happens, just move on to the next shave. Right, more water. This is great. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I 
massive what you mean. Right, that is very good. Okay, one little dip. Gee whiz. Right, look at that lather. Absolutely beautiful, look at the shine on it. Can you see that? Yeah, really good. Feels great. Right, let's get him. Um, <laughs> let's get wiped down. <laughs> you have to be tidy when you shave. <laughs> right, okay, let's go with the uh, Parker adjustable injector razor on setting five, which is the highest setting. You can see it there. Right, let's go with this. Right, there's only uh, one side to this razor, so you need to rinse it a fair bit. Make sure everything's good. Right, I just need to be careful with this uh, cut. Look at this, look at this sweat. That's real sweat. It's warm. It's warm here today. It's uh, it's kind of the sun keeps coming and going, so it's uh, not too bad. Right, this feels um, this feels nice. It doesn't feel uh, too aggressive, even on setting five, but you can feel the blade cutting. Just a light touch. Yeah, it feels nice. And the thing about it is, it's got the perfect angle. You see this, uh, this flat bit here? If you lay that against your face, that's the perfect cutting angle. So it's, uh, it's very intuitive. Intuitive, Kevin. Ooh, you swallowed the dictionary, Kevy. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching for the first time, I do apologise. You'll be like, who is this guy? What's he, who's he talking to? Well, I'm not really talking to anyone, but <laughs> whatever gets me through the shave. That's just me. What you see is what you get. If you met me in real life, I'd, I'd probably be the same. You know, maybe maybe not the first time I ever meet you. You know, because I don't want to be appear to be like, ah, oh, this guy really is a lunatic. I don't want to be known as a lunatic. Right, that feels really nice. Right, first pass done. I'm setting five. Feels good. Feels good. Nice reduction in the stubble, which is what you want. So I will rinse all this gunk off, and I will come back for pass number two. Okay, back we are. We are back. Back we are. We are back. Who do you think you are? Yoda. <laughs> yes, back we are. Right, back to this brush. Look at that lather. That's gorgeous. Mmm. Yeah, if the guy, uh, Davey, Davey, if you're watching from Dead Sea Shave, please start making soaps again because your soap is very, very good. Really nice. Yeah, maybe just taking a break. I don't know. Um, as I say, I sent him an email, but um, I've not heard back from him just yet. Right, I'm going to go to setting uh, four. Where are we? Yeah. So setting four on the dial for the Cross the Growth Pass. Wow. Yeah, you can certainly feel the difference between four and five. 
you can still hear it cutting, so just... Remember, no pressure and stuff. All the usual rules apply. But you can still, you can feel the blade cutting this, the, uh, the growth. You hear the kids playing outside. Yeah, the only other um, injector razor I've used was the uh, the supply razor, and uh, I didn't really like it to be honest. I thought it was too heavy. Um, yeah, I always got irritation when I used it, but this feels uh, this feels lighter. It's much nicer. It's uh, has this um, the handle with the kind of textured like plastic grip metal on this side with Parker there. Version one doesn't have this Parker, but version two does. But it's um, it's it's light in the hand. But it's nice to hold. Easy to rinse. Rinses easily. Yeah, so a, probably a very, very good um, entry level razor into uh, adjustable injector razors. Very good. Yeah, it's not too aggressive. It's uh, easy to use. It feels nice. Right. Yeah, it feels very good. Yeah, that feels really nice. Right, let me rinse and come back for the third pass. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm getting a haircut on Monday, so it's uh, the wig's getting a bit long. Yeah, I love this. Look at that stand. Yeah, I'll just put it like that. Look how cool that looks. Matches the brush. Good stuff. Right, I'll turn this down to setting three for the against the growth pass. Straight up to 12 o'clock. Setting three. Right, we'll get lather up again. Just put it in some water. <laughs> I think of all the uh, the Yaki brushes, this one has to be one of their most popular. There's lots of people who have it. It's a great little brush, perfect for travel and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't take up too much space, nice little handle. Sagrada Familia. And very loosely that translates as the family shaving brush. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> It translates as, um, is it the sacred family or the family sacred? Uh, I can't remember. I went to see the uh, Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, the church. It, was, uh, it wasn't finished, I think, I think it might be nearly finished now, but it was uh, phew, what an amazing place. Absolutely beautiful. Right, setting three on the Parker injector adjustable. There we go. Setting three. Yeah, I'm just checking it. This isn't really, it's not really loose, but it's not very, very firm. So just, uh, I'll just keep an eye on it. See, I'm shaking it about, but it's not, it's not moving any. It's still there. Right, let's go against the growth. Yeah, you can still hear that cutting. Blade feels nice. Yeah, it doesn't feel uh, harsh or rough. Anything like that. And the good thing about these uh, injector blades, you can probably get about 
half a dozen shaves, maybe six or seven shaves out of each blade. Yeah, look, little dots there at the corner of the mouth. It's uh, very comfortable on setting three going against the growth. Listen to that. Just remember to keep rinsing. Yeah, look. A little weepers here. You got any plans for the weekend? Any uh, barbecues or stuff? I hope you have. Got some nice barbecue plans. Send me, th send me some uh, ribs through, would you? <laughs> some uh, smoke, smoked, smoked ribs. Right. Right, three passes done. A quick rinse. Wow, that feels good. Nice and close. Yeah, just the usual spots for pickups on this uh, neck area. And you know what I always do for pickups, don't you? No? Okay, I'll tell you. With an adjustable razor, I usually start on the higher settings for the first pass, go down to four, whatever, a lower setting then for the against the growth pass, go up to a low setting, even lower. And then for the pickups, I always turn it up um, to the high settings, just because it's these little stragglers that you've missed. Oh, just a, a very light touch. Yeah, just to pick up these hairs. You can hear it there. Yeah, just a light touch with the razor on a higher setting. You can hear that, that's great. That's what I love about this uh, hobby. Using new stuff, trying out different razors. I don't think this is an expensive razor. I think it's about maybe between 30 and 40 dollars, so. I think about what, what would that be? About 30 pounds, something like that. So not expensive. As I say, it was a good um, way to uh, introduce you into the uh, injector razor style. You know, some of these vintage ones can be expensive and, and if they're vintage, they're old. But this is, you're getting a brand new one. Right, that feels great. A little tiny bit there. I just don't want to go over this bit. <laughs> right, nice. Quick rinse, cold water. Oh, that feels good. Right, let's see how much is uh, left in this brush for a face wash. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's not a, a, a massive amount of menthol in this soap, but you can feel it. You can feel the little cooling effect, which is good. Right, face wash time. I'll rinse this off with hot water, cold water. I'll come back for the post shave once I've cleaned out all the gear. See you soon. There we go. Sign of a good shave. <laughs> yeah, that feels really good. Really nice. No irritation there. 
Very, very good. Right, on to the post shave. Um, keeping things in the UK for the aftershave and the balm, I um, pucked, it, pucked this up. <laughs> I pucked this up. I picked this up recently in um, Marks and Spencer's. Uh, this is wood spice and this is amber. There we go. Um, an aftershave that, sorry, an aftershave that combines notes of lemon, apple and orange blossom with aromas of lavender and cedar wood. The woody amber fragrance is supplemented with base fragrances of tonka beans, sandalwood and musks. To use, apply to your face and neck after washing and shaving. There is there. There's the description. Very, very good. Sounds great. Um, yeah, it comes in this nice box. This is only something like seven pounds. Here we go. Yeah, very cheap. Whoa, whoa. Right, we'll get a good splash of that. Nice uh, restrictor in there too. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. There's probably lots of alcohol in this, so it'll be a good burn. Mm, not bad. Well. Oh, oh, oh there, there's the alcohol. Like, oh, <laughs> caught the back of my throat there. <laughs> that smells great. Oh, really nice. Just a nice, uh, a little bit citrusy. Oh, very good. I'm gonna have some more actually. Yeah, it's only seven pounds a bottle, so why not? Nice, very nice. Marks and Spencer's Amber, Wood Spice Amber. Excellent. And finish it off with the matching balm from MS. There's the description again. Same sort of thing, I think. Yeah. Balm something smells different. Obviously, not as strong as the alcohol. It doesn't have a restrictor, so we'll just pour a little bit out there. I don't know how much we'll need. Yeah, it has a little bit of that scent. Good stuff. Yeah, it's not too um, thick, so it goes, it's absorbed into the skin easily. Wow, that's a great scent. For seven pounds a bottle, I think the, the, the balm was seven pounds as well. For what do you get, 100 mil. Excellent, excellent stuff. Right. There we go, that's the shave. Yeah, that little thing there. It's from last week, so just being careful, but very good. Very, very nice. Okay, let me uh, give you a wee overview. A wee, give you a wee overview of what we've used now. The razor, fantastic. Parker adjustable injector style razor. Uh, here it is here. Yeah, settings one to five, started on five, went to four, went to three, went to five for the pickups. Um, if you're looking for an aggressive razor, this isn't it. Even on setting five, you could feel the blade, but it didn't feel like it was going to bite you. It wasn't aggressive, it wasn't harsh. Uh, still felt quite nice. I would imagine settings one and two will be really, really mild. Uh, setting three against the grain was bang on, perfect. Really, really good. Yeah, so if you're looking for a, an injector style razor, maybe thinking about it, getting one, see how they feel, see how you got on with them, uh, this might be the one you're looking for. That was a razor, very good, I enjoyed it. The soap for the UK uh, soap month, UK soap makers month, Dead Sea Shave Maelstrom. Excellent soap. There it is there, all cleaned out. Yeah, as I say, I've used this now the last four shaves, uh, but I've just, <laughs> I was meant to film them, but I didn't get around to it, so um, today I have. Yeah, good soap, I hope, they, I hope they start making soaps again. They had, I'm sure they had like three or four different scents, I um, can't remember off the top of my head what they were, but um, I picked up this one. Uh, yeah, very, very good. And it has the, the Dead Sea um, Dead sea mud, so the uh, post shave is good, but good stuff. So another UK artisan. Uh, the brush was the Yaki Sagrada Familia with a little matching stand, match, matching razor stand. There we go, very, very cool. Very nice. Looks great on this. Looks great on the shelf there. You can't see it, but I can. Wow, that looks great. <laughs> yeah, so that's it there. Uh, but great brush. Nice little knot. I think it's only 20, maybe 22, 24. Brilliant, really good. Uh, three passes pickups, face wash, post shave was, MS, wood spice, amber, superb. 
beautiful scent and uh, finished it with the matching wood spice amber balm look at that it says wood spice gentleman that's so I like that I like little touches like that it comes in these nice boxes too for what seven about seven and a half pound something like that seven pounds I love stuff like that yeah I've got another one as well I bought it there's a green one I can't remember what it's called but I bought that too so there's a red one you get a red one you get uh, this one the amber and you also get a green one so I've, I've got all three of them now but um they're very good M&S is a great shop. Right, okay, that's enough uh, ramblings from me to, for today. Thank God! <laughs> uh, right, okay, I'll see you in the next shave. Um, I'll be using another uh, soap from the UK. I don't know which one. I've not decided yet. But um, yeah, just to give the UK artisans and soap makers just a little bit of more of uh, exposure. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. <laughs> exposure but um that's today's shave anyway wow feels great really good right okay i will go and uh, get this edited hopefully get this up later on today uh, saturday enjoy the rest of your weekend look after loved ones stay safe try and stay out the sun if it's too much for you um yeah i hope everything's going well wherever you are in the world i love you all keep the comments coming and uh subscriptions stuff like that everything uh, i love it all uh, the interaction with this wet shaving community is fantastic and uh, yeah, there's lots of, um, I've had a couple of suggestions for different things for shave, so uh, I'm going to try and fit that in uh, whenever I can. But um, yeah, hopefully it'll not be too long, not as long as I've left it between this, these two videos, but uh, until the next one, because um, I've got a lot of UK soaps <laughs> that I want to use. I could have been another three soaps I'd use, but right, whatever. Right, okay, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.